Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first episode for the daily talk with Javier Camacho, which is me. Uh, this is just a video of me going around the internet, finding interesting topics like this one right here and trying to get you to think outside the box when it comes to the DIY stuff. And for this particular episode, we're going to talk about batteries, which is not something that I'm going to continue doing, but you know, every time I, it comes on my feed, something that it makes, you know, it pokes interest. It, it makes me feel, you know, curious. I'm going to share it with you guys. Hopefully we're going to do other topics like technology, AI, stuff like that. But for now, since YouTube only shows my videos to the people that are interested in the DIY battery stuff. So... I'm doing this mostly for you guys. And this article came up uh, last night, actually, which which come from Leah Hamilton. She's from the Daily Beast. And she's talking about the green energy of the future, which is right under your feet. And whoever reads this uh, is going to say, oh, there's a new technology. There's something new. And, and to be honest, it's not. It is something that has done been it has done been done before. It is not something new, but it kind of makes sense. And when you read the article, she goes around, you know, the usual suspect that lithium batteries are expensive, that we should not be using lithium batteries anymore because uh you know we're using kids or childs to gather the materials from the mines and stuff like that. But she does make the point about the use of rocks to do, do two different types of, you know, energy storage. The first energy storage, she, tells, she goes around talking about is that if you use the heat that is gathered from the solar panels, that is gathered from the wind turbine, and even from the sun, and you store that in big, really big rocks, you can actually use that energy and transfer the heat to other parts of the you know it could be your house you can heat up a room if you live in a like in a uh, up north or you can use the heat to actually operate some machinery that actually needs some heat i was looking around to see if someone did something similar and i stumbled upon this video which i'm going to give you the link and this guy this video comes from desert sun and he's basically using the sand to power, uh, not to power, he's transferring the heat from the sand to actually heat up his room. And the way he does that is heating up the sand and then taking the this DC motors and transfer the heat that is coming up from the sand and, you know, pushing that heat towards the room. Which is pretty clever. So, so that's basically the one of the solutions that you can do when it comes to using pretty simple everyday rock. You store all the heat and then you use that. But another example is to actually use the earth as a battery, like technically as a battery. This video also comes from the same guy. He, and he's using the very typical anode and cathode just to power up some type of device. Um, when it comes to a battery, let me see if I could get you a very particular. Let me just go back. Here you go. So when it comes to a battery, you need a anode and a cathode. And then he's doing like a link between different cells. If you, if you think about cells like the way we use that in the 18650 this is going to be one of them so this is a series right now and each little device or pocket inside the ice cube uh, tray it's technically a cell and all he's doing is just doing a link in between them allowing to the electrons and the neurons and whatever to move around so you can power so 
In this video, you can see he actually getting about five bolts, which is not that bad for a, 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 a you know, a fist full of dirt and whatever. He's actually powering an LED light, and you can actually try to do this in, in, in a bigger way. This is video comes from Creativity Bazaar, which is basically the same thing. He's getting mud. He's probably filling that mud with some type of uh, electrolyte. And he's actually creating a series, a battery that is connected in series. And he's going to link each one of them from one end to another. And you get your battery. So when, when you look something like this, it's not an unusual to use rocks and to use the sand and the dirt to power something. For example, this company right here, they're technically using gravity to power things. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw this type of uh, content a few months ago. What they actually do is they have like a massive cave, like a mine that goes thousands of, uh, of feet underneath the earth. And basically they are lifting with the excess of energy that comes from the grid. They lift very heavy rocks or blocks of concrete. And whenever they need the energy back, they just let it go. So the, the weight of that concrete is going to power the generator. And, you know, like I said, it's not a bad article, It's but it's not something new. But when you start looking at the thing that's going on around the world and the prices of things, for us, the DIY is kind of cool because it means that we do not need very expensive items or tools or batteries just to think around, you know, play around, look for different solutions different alternative and, and it's also a pretty cool idea if you want to do it with your friends or your families or especially your kids and like i said this is just me going around trying to poke some creativity back to you guys hopefully you get to your interest high enough and, and you want to think about this eh, i don't know Anyway, if you guys think this is a something that you're interested, uh, look for the links of the article below and the links for the di different videos that I was talking around over here. So hopefully you get to learn something new because this is the basic stuff for the batteries, which is also the basic stuff for the capacitors. You need an anode, you need a cattle, you need electrolyte. And if you tinker long enough, eventually you could make your own battery. Something that could power a fan, something that could power a TV, small LED lights, charge up your phone. And I remember there was a video back in the, a few years back, I think it was three or four years ago, where someone took a, a candle and actually power a cell phone. And that's all I want to do with this type of uh, episodes, a daily talk, which I'm going to try to do every single day and look for something interesting. And hopefully I get better at talking without, you know, editing and just going live. And that's it. But this type of article, even though it's pretty plain and simple, it has some insight value that probably be helpful for some of you guys out there. So think outside the box, try to find a way to make this work for you. If you want to do some type of experiment or you want me to do some type of experiment, I'll be, be, I'll be more than happy to, to do it. But again, try to find yourself some type of, uh, how to say that? Try to do it yourself. Try to find a way to thinker with some sand like this guy is doing right here. I'm going to leave the link, like I said, in the description. So you can actually figure out how to do a small battery. And then once you are successful with just one of them, you can actually make something bigger. Something that could power probably a DC fan like this one. Right now he's just, you know, pushing hot air 
into the room. But you can actually use the electricity that is gathered from the heat. You just need to figure out how to transfer the heat and convert that into a voltage. Uh, some guys could use a Peltier module. Hopefully I said that right. And some other guys could just use some type of uh, heat to voltage converter, which I will probably try to find a way to, or, or some articles that talks about that. But either way, think outside the box, guys. Uh, this is a pretty cool idea. And just look on the description for the link, uh, for the links, read about it, uh, and leave me a comment if you, you know, if you think this type of daily video that just goes around looking for ideas it's something that you're interested if not i'm sorry but i'm just trying to get this channel to the next stage and this is part of that uh god bless you guys and i'll talk to you in the next one bye